Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and I know I am meeting you guys after a very long time. I have been juggling between office work, personal life and Instagram 75 day system design series, 45 days Java interview series and thanks for the appreciation that I have received over here from you guys only. I know YouTube is also important and that's the reason I am back. But nevertheless, I am back and I promise I'll be way more consistent as I used to be on YouTube. At times, I also can't believe that I'm the same guy who saw 1000 day lead code daily challenge every day without fail and created videos of it. Hard to believe, isn't it? Over the last six months, I visited plenty of colleges across India and one common question that I faced in those colleges was, is system design actually needed for college students? If I go and check it on internet, then there is a lot of hype on YouTube by some popular YouTubers around this that have created fear and hype in the society that for cracking any good package salary, you need to know system design. It's really sad to see that naive college students, especially after paying such a hefty fee in colleges, fall prey to these courses. Does that mean, am I saying that system design is not important? Guys, let's cut this noise and listen to the truth. So, let's understand a little bit when I was in college back in 2015. At that point of time, there were no courses that were sold in the market as of today. There were no websites that polluted your mind with nonsense information. There was little information available and that was bliss. Even at that point of time, companies like Fang used to visit my campus and all we worked upon was DSA and we used to refer to books, for example, Head First Java which gave you a bit of depth how backend technology operates. Back in my days, companies were very simple. Funda tha. You need to select someone who has great problem solving skills, great analytical skills, great logical thinking. Iske upar, kuch nahi. They never want to hire anyone who has read to fight the concept from books and has come to give the interviews. They don't want to hire totas. They are looking for true problem solvers who can handle pressure well. And this funda still exists today. In 99% of the cases, the interviews as of today are not going to ask you conceptual questions related to HLD or LLD. They are not going to ask you design YouTube, design Instagram or design Facebook. If they do, then the interviews are foolish because they are expecting a 10th grade student to know 12th grade concepts. System design is a skill through which you build systems that can handle scale of up to millions of requests per second. And in college, how can you expect a college student to know all of this? You must be thinking, the system design nahi padhe. So college mein interviews crack se crack honge. Interviews mein, when you are done through the DSA rounds, then there is a round wherein questions related to your projects are asked. In those rounds, the interviewer is looking for how authentic or how much genuineness effort you have put in to build that system up. Obviously, the projects that you build in college, nobody gonna use them ever. But they want to identify whether you are curious enough to learn new concepts or not. Whether you have put in the right amount of effort to build things from scratch or not. Or you have just copy pasted it from YouTube. All they want is authenticity. They will never expect anyone to build system in college projects that can handle millions of requests per minute. That would be too unfair. And it's not traffic of the in college projects. So you have to be a But you need to play smart guys. In college, you know the competition has turned cutthroat. With the recession going on, the job opportunities have reduced drastically and everyone wants a job. You need to get an edge over the rest of the world. So, if you say yourself some concept of system design without naming it explicitly, which signifies that you are aware about the core fundamental concept of system design, that's definitely going to give you some edge over the rest of the world. It's going to highlight that you have worked upon yourself, you're curious to learn and you know things. You have not interview expect and you have told you a concept that it's all about playing smart in an interview. And this is you have to HLD, LLD in depth concept. All you need to do is to understand the basic fundamental knowledge of various concepts of system design. It's beyond nothing. And if you intent, it's not mandatory, it's good to have. It is done in order to make you stand out from the rest of the world. Because everyone who has come to the third round of interview is good in DSA. So how to select the candidate? And the interviewers only need authenticity, nothing else. So now question comes, where do basics learn these concepts from? Where do you learn these concepts from? Guys, I created 75 day system design series wherein I taught these concepts with real life examples so as to draw analogy so that you guys can get the most of it and can connect with it. So one try it, if you feel good, tell me. I hope you guys got the point that how much system design is expected of from a student in college. 
But if you get placed early and you have one year of time span, guys, go ahead and learn system design as much as you can. Because when you will enter the industry, these concepts will be needed and people usually take years to learn those concepts. When you will have that bookish knowledge with you, it will be easier for you to absorb and understand things out. So placement ke baad, zaroor karna. Bohut kaam aega aage. So iske upar ek obvious question aata hai. For those who are doing masters either from India or abroad, unke liye bhi kya same situation hai? Yes, the answer is, it still stays the same. And it's because you're gonna be hired for the same profile as BTEC student will be hired for. So SD1 dono ko hi milna hai aur same expectations hai. Aur bohut honest opinion deta hoon system design ke baare mein. Whatever we learn from these courses or textbooks, these are like bookish knowledge. System design in true sense is the ability for you to build systems that can scale to millions of requests per second. And हम सब ने इतना काम नहीं किया होता कि हम हैंडल कर पाए मिलियंस ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंट रिक्वेस्ट पर सेकेंड और कुछ ना कुछ स्क्रू अप हो जाता है जब वो स्क्रू अप होता है एंड यू एम टू फिक्स दैट अप उससे तो तुम सिस्टम डिजाइन सीखते हो कि कॉन्सेप्ट को कैसे अप्लाई करना और कैसे चेंज करना अपना डायरेक्शन सो दैट द सिस्टम बिकम्स मोर स्टेबल ओवरऑल This is what system design in true sense is, and it all comes with experience, not with textbooks knowledge. Let me give you a practical example of it. Consider a case: you have made a login service, bani, and all of a sudden there was outburst of users in your system. Your containers crashed, and when you tried to identify the root cause, it came out you used caches, and unka timeout set nahi tha. The default properties were being used, which made the connect timeout and read timeout up till 60 seconds. As a result of which the threads hogged, uh, therefore the system crashed because APIs पे traffic की सर्वनी हो पा रहा था और incoming traffic आये जा रहा था, आये जा रहा था, आये जा रहा था और ये चीज तुम्हें कैसे समझ आएगी connect timeout और read timeout की definitions पढ़ के आ सकती है कभी क्या? You tell me. तो इस बात को अच्छे से समझो कि system design is all about building engineering solutions to make your overall system more stable because stability से ही किसी भी SaaS service में पैसा आता है. यूजर्स रिटेन रहेंगे उनको ग्लिच ज्यादा एक्सपीरियंस नहीं होंगे गुडविल फैक्टर बनता है इंडस्ट्री में फॉर दैट सर्विस एंड योर बिजनेस एक्चुअली रन थ्रू इट रिएक्ट क्यों आया था बिकॉज वेब एप्लीकेशन बहुत टाइम लेती थी लोड होने में जब भी कोई एलिमेंट चेंज होता था पूरा डॉम रिप्लेस करना पड़ता था तब एंड दैट वॉज द रीजन वन ऑफ द डेवलपर्स लाइक अस थॉट कि सिर्फ डेल्ट ऑफ पोर्शन को क्यों ना अपडेट करा जाए जहां पर एक्चुअली चेंज हो रहा है दैट प्रिवेंटेड फ्रॉम री रेंडरिंग द इंटायर डॉम एंड दिस इज हाउ रियक्ट का इंसेप्शन हुआ Isn't that interesting? Let me ask you a question. You went for an interview for a startup, and they asked you build the system up. What kind of architecture are you going to use? You know about monolith, you know about microservice, and from your system design experience that you have acquired from the books or some courses, you will say monolithic is worse than microservices. Microservices is way more stable than monolith. And this is the normal bookish knowledge that you will acquire. However, in case of a startup where the scale is will be pretty low during the initial months, you don't need to invest that much amount of money to build microservices architecture. जब लोग ही नहीं होंगे तो ज़्यादा use करने के लिए तो hiccups होंगे क्यों? And at that point of time, you should have said, let's opt for monolithic architecture versus the microservices one, in order to save money. At the end of the day, everything is driven by money, whether it's revenue, whether it's profit, whether it's investment, and whether it's रेकरिंग एक्सपेंडिचर और ये सब कुछ सिर्फ प्रैक्टिकल नॉलेज से आ सकता है और इससे एक बहुत फेमस लाइन याद आई प्री मेच्योर ऑप्टिमाइजेशन इज अ रूट कॉज ऑफ ऑल इवल्स एंड इट इज नॉट कोटेड बाई मी इट इज कोटेड बाई डोनल्ड नूद द फादर ऑफ एनालिस ऑफ एल्गोरिथम्स नोबेल प्राइज विनर इन दील्ड ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस तो ये आइडेंटिफाई करने के लिए वेदर दिस ऑप्टिमाइजेशन इज प्री मेच्योर इन नेचर और नॉट इसके लिए तुम्हें experience to gain karna hi padega it all comes with it this is the wrap of the video guys i hope i'm able to convey my messages to all of you guys ki system design kitna padhna hai kab padhna hai aur kaise padhna hai aur uski strategy kya honi chahiye i'll see you very soon with another video but till then goodbye and don't forget to like share and subscribe acha laga